In the late 1960s, the Soviet Union was in need of a new ground attack aircraft. It was decided that the existing MiG-23 design was to be upgraded with ground attack capabilities. The new aircraft, designated the MiG-27, was very similar to the MiG-23, but had a new front, a different engine, and modified air intakes. This was to provide the pilot with better view, and to increase weapons load capacity. The aircraft also had larger, heavy-duty landing gear, to increase the ability to operate from poorer quality runways. Additional cockpit armor was added, as well as a new navigation and attack system. Missiles and precision-guided munitions could be mounted, and the ability to carry nuclear weapons was added. The MiG-27 entered service in 1975, and served in the Soviet-Afghan War between 1987 and 1989. The aircraft type was exported to India and Sri Lanka. In 1999, Indian MiG-27 served in the Kargil War against Pakistan. India retired the last MiG-27s in 1999. The MiG-27 entered service in the Sri Lanka Air Force as late as the year 2000. It was used in the Sri Lankan Civil War, to bomb targets and provide close air support. After the fall of the Soviet Union, the MiG-27 remained in service in Russia, and several other former Soviet states. As of 2021, a number of MiG-27s remain in service with the Kazakh Air Force. The MiG-27 was produced between 1972 and 1994. In total, 1,075 aircraft were produced. This includes Indian license manufactured aircraft. <laughs>